Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you today? I'm fine. You? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking. And how was your weekend? All uh, right. Okay. Working? Hi. Yes, Oh, you rest this weekend. That's nice. Weekend. Hey. Nice. Teacher. Yes. You look gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. So uh, we're just four in the meeting. Well, five. Some of you said that you will be just listening. But yes, we're going to start and then uh, we're going to check attendance a little later because we're just a few. Remember that we're going to finish module on Wednesday. So just like three classes, two days and two more classes and we finish. So I hope that you have completed all your exercise from the platform and remember that if you have any inconvenience, you just need to let us know to uh, assist you. Uh, last week, we were discussing about the how to express future. What tenses can we use to express future? So we're going to start from there again. And I'm sharing the presentation that I already sent you through the WhatsApp. All right, and this is what we got how to use will. So in this one, we're going to be just using the auxiliary will to express future. We have a couple of examples and it says, use will to make predictions to say what you believe will happen in the future. For example, I think a famous chef will come to the event. The manager will prepare a new training for hosts. We can also use will for decisions that you make spontaneously at the time when you're speaking, as we said in the last week. So we can use uh, will to make predictions, uh, to express what we believe that is going to happen, and also to make spontaneous decisions when we are speaking. We have a couple of examples here, and it says consumers are complaining about slow service. I will take, I will talk to staff. That service just spilled the up on the customer. I will call the manager. And finally, it says we use will to make a promise or to offer help to somebody. I will be there at 9 a.m. I will help you to prepare the documents for the training. To also remember that when we are using an auxiliary, it's the same auxiliary for all subjects. And we just need to use the, after the auxiliary, we need a verb in infinitive without two. Are we okay with this information or do you have any question? No questions? Okay, so remember to Question. complete. Sí? Vamos a estas preguntas. Sí, eh, de contestar, solo recuerden que eh, lo que les acabo de mencionar, después del auxiliar will, el verbo se pone en infinitivo sin mm -hmm. poner to. Uh, por ejemplo, yeah. si diríamos aquí, I don't worry, I will to show you, eso sería incorrecto. Es el mismo auxiliar para todas las personas, no importa si es primera, segunda, tercera o plurales. Y el verbo no se modifica, se deja en infinitivo. Solamente sería de llenar los espacios en blancos y luego vamos a chequear. Yes. Sorry, I, I have a question. Uh -huh. Um, y para la, para decir una como una predicción pero un negativo ah excelente pregunta no, en mí no teníamos nada negativo en el material 
Pero sí, como les repetía, el auxiliar, eh, los auxiliares no, no necesitan otro auxiliar para hacer negativo o pregunta, sino que se utiliza el mismo. Para hacer un negativo solo le agregamos eh, not después del auxiliar. En este caso sería will not. Will not. Aquí se los estoy escribiendo en el chat. Que contractado es won't. Ahorita se los won't. escribo también en forma contractada. Sería won't. Ok. okay will not. Gracias. Es gracias. En, eh, completa. En contractado es won't. Any other question? No, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Yes, teacher. I have a question. Sorry. Yes, but I don't. I, I can listen. Um, the first you say, um, my question is about the exam and about the material in the platform. Uh, today I'm going to finish. Uh, all the platform because I think I have maybe two or three activities left. Mm -hmm. But about the final exam, it's on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Or we don't have final exam. I don't know. I'm sorry. Yes, you, you do. You have a final exam. I think that we solved it last week. But yes, there is a final ah, exam. It's, an, it's the same of the platform. Yes, it is the same one. Uh -huh. It's after oh. section number four, you have the final exam. And those exercises are taken from previous ones. So it's like repetitive. So it's not difficult. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, I mm -hmm. understand. Uh, so the um, in Wednesday, we only have the, the last class and that's all. Yes, and you ah, have okay. to you have to be here because we will complete the uh, satisfaction survey, and it is mandatory to complete it. If you don't complete that survey, um, you won't be able to continue, or you're going to lose your scholarship. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it uh, is important to complete that one, and as it is just um, you you have just one chance to complete it. So if you made a mistake, uh, it's going to affect you. That's why we do it in the during the class, during the meeting. Class. And one okay. and it there is a scheduled time where someone from administration is going to join the meeting to help us in case that we have any problem or question. Mm -hmm. Okay. And my last question is, teacher, uh, how can I know about my uh, how do you say percentage? Uh, you can say percentage or percentage. Progress. Okay. Uh, how can I know about my percentage of assistant? Assistant of the attendance. Attendance. Yes. Sorry. Mm, I um I don't. I'm not sure if there is a um how to say a way that you can check it but i do have access to the file so i can uh, send it to you tomorrow oh, okay just for uh let me know because i i don't have i i don't want to have any problem in the inscription or, or something like that i understand mm -hmm. yeah i let you know tomorrow because i'm okay. going to update the, your progress, your grades, and it is okay. the same file, so I can check their um, your attendance. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. That's all. You're welcome. Naomi, you have a question? Yes, teacher. <coughs> este, usted hará un nuevo examen? No, plataforma. No, it is only the one that is in the platform. Eh, todo lo que tienen en evaluaciones, lo que les es calificado, es lo que está en la plataforma. Ah, ok. okay. Sí. Entonces, ese está después de la sección 4. Eh, solo le da siguiente, siguiente, y ahí está. Yo no sé si ya lo habrá hecho. Yo ya eh, lo completé todo, Alicia. Eh. Ah, ok. 
Va, entonces sí, sí ya, no, ya no habría necesidad de, de nada más, pero sí, el examen final es el, el de la plataforma. No y será este, nada extra. Y una para... encuesta también me dijeron de que íbamos a hacer. La ¿Cómo? encuesta sí la vamos a hacer el miércoles eh, durante la sesión, por lo que le decía a... Ah, le comentaba a Belén que es importante que se conecten el último día todo desde el principio porque eh, un asesor, un, un, un gestor de, de inglés corporativo se une a la meeting a una hora específica que es a la hora que se va a desarrollar la encuesta. Si usted no llena esa encuesta, pierde la beca. Y si okay. la llena mal o se equivoca, eh, es problema porque solo tienen un chance para enviarla. Uh -huh. y se okay, hace en el mismo you. momento ¿Sí? Thank you. Uh, again. I don't know if I made a mistake but today I received a email when, with that kind of interview and <laughs> I solved it and I don't know if it was the same that you talking about or it's a different one fíjese que no se tendría que consultar con administración porque eh, de la que nos están hablando que vamos a llenar el miércoles, tienen que mandar un screenshot al grupo de WhatsApp de que ya la completaron. Ajá. Ok. Entonces no sé si será la misma y si le dicen que sí, que revisen si llenó... Eh, porque hay, hay una parte igual que es que si usted sa está satisfecho con, no, no recuerdo cómo dice en general, pero eh, eso no Perdón. tiene nada que ver con, no tiene nada que ver va. con. Hay todas encuestas. Una, una que hacemos con usted y la otra que da en por la satisfacción y todo eso siempre la hace. La de satisfacción es la que vamos a hacer el, el y ambas Ajá. son para Insafor. Entonces, si en esa ustedes ponen que no están satisfechos, eso no tiene nada que ver con el internet, con la conexión, con nada de, de sino que es precisamente con la atención que le ha brindado el facilitador y el personal de inglés corporativo. Si usted dice que no está satisfecho, esto eh, pierde la beca porque se entiende que no le gustó y no va a seguir. Entonces, ah, luego de que yeah. han llenado eso, eh, tienen que mandar un screenshot de que ya cumplieron con ese requisito y eso se va a hacer el día miércoles. Díganme. Ok, ¿y ok. Imelda. Hola, hola, teacher. Eh, fíjese que yo tengo una consulta con la plataforma. Yo igual ya llené todo, todo lo, los, todas las, las actividades y, y la, hice el examen pero con la tarea 2.11, que eran donde se había, había que completar unas, eh, reorganizar unas oraciones, este, y que estuvimos viendo en una clase, ¿verdad?, de cómo, de que probando varias formas, porque como quedaba error, pero fíjese uh -huh. que hay dos oraciones que yo ya probé de todas las formas posibles, lo copié en otro archivo, lo pegué, y no me las acepta como buenas, y solo esas dos tengo ahorita pendientes uh -huh. de resolver. Sección Entonces no dos, sé. me dice que es. Sí, son dos que, que de hecho fueron las, que, las dos que más costaron resolver en clase, pero yo ese día estaba terminando algo de, de mi trabajo y no pude apuntar cómo era la, la opción, cómo lo aceptaba, ¿verdad? Entonces no sé en ese caso cómo puedo hacer, este, si, si mando alguna captura al grupo o algo como para marcarla a todos, que, que ah. no me acepta porque ya probé de todas formas. Uy, que estoy compartiendo otra vez la presentación. Es que, ajá, déjenme ver que se me trabó esta cosa. <ríe> Ay, Dios. Ok, uh, no sé si pueden ver la plataforma. Sí, porque, sí. Ok, ¿cuál de estos era? Era la, penú, la penúltima, la, permítame, acá lo tengo abierto yo también. La 3 y la 5. Epa, y esta sería la 2.11. Ajá, a esa, de esas, esa, la 3 y la 5. Ajá, esa. La 3, me acuerdo que Ajá. le pusimos un punto al final y así la. No, ya probé así, no me lo acepta tampoco. It could be good if we change. Sí, ya probé poniéndole el punto, poniéndole la separación sí. entre los puntos, copiándolo en otro archivo y pegándolo de nuevo. 
Entonces, no sé si había algún problema de que queden esas dos marcadas así como malas. Fíjense ah, que la nota mínima que ustedes tienen yeah. es 8. Uh -huh. Si pasa del 8, no habría ningún problema, ¿verdad? Sí, ahorita como le digo, ya completé todo, solamente son esas dos, pero sí Sería quería como... La 3 me dijo y la 5. La 5, ajá. Quiero ver esa. Igual ya probé de esa forma y tampoco me la sé. Eh, ahí se las puse en, la, en el chat, entonces trate Ajá. de copiarlas y borrar, ¿verdad? Borre, dele refresh y vuélvale a, a poner el, um, esto, la respuesta que está uh -huh. así y mándela, tal vez le agarra. Vaya, voy a porque probar. Porque sí porque me sí acuerdo que fue el punto en este costó, caso. costó, ajá, bastante. Igual este, probé en varios días, en diferentes fechas para ver si tal vez había algún error. Y no me la he aceptado. Entonces voy a probar así, copiando y pegando. Ok. Vaya. ¿Algo otro Gracias. ejercicio que quieran revisar? Yo tenía problemas en el mismo, el teacher. Vaya, entonces ya se lo mandé ahí en el chat. Ahí está. ¿Alguien más? Vaya. En la también... parte final del examen, teacher, en la parte 3, la, no, la número 4 no, la, no me sale. El examen final, vamos a ver entonces. Final examen. En la parte 3. Sería esta. Ajá. Sí, la número 4. Ah, esa iba en continuo. Thank you, teacher. Ajá. La 4 es I'm having. Ahí está en el chat también. ¿Algo otro ejercicio que quieran revisar? ¿Ese qué número es, teacher? Ese es la parte 3 del examen final, ah, que okay. es del futuro y Pero todas está. van con Will. No, 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 Solo no, no, esta, no, la 4, que vimos que es no como si futuro estudiar. cercano. Eh, para planes, acción. entonces era con presente continuo. Ok, thanks, teacher. Any other question or exercise? Y en la parte, en la tarea 1, teacher, la número 2. De la tarea 1, sección 1 sería. Sección 1. Veamos qué pasó ahí. Ya estamos ahí. Eh, la primera tarea es. Okay. Yes, teacher. La primera, la número dos. Esta, sampling. No, 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 no. Es la uno, parte 1.1. 1.1. Uno uno. Uno uno. Ok, ahí está. Ok, ahorita verifico porque si lo había hecho así no me salí. Sí, vamos a copiar tal vez así. ¿Algo otro ejercicio, Judy? Thank you, teacher. Solamente. Thank Solo you, ya me salí. Ok, Thank excelente. You. ¿Alguien más que tenga algún ejercicio que no le esté dando bien la respuesta? Eh, solo confirmarle que sí me funcionó, copiarle. <ríe> ya me la <lo> acepté. <ríe> ok, excelente. Gracias. Vaya. ¿Alguien más? 4.5 no me dio mi I. Yo voy a repetirla. <ríe> Esta, 4.5, ¿cuál?
¿Todas las tiene malas o una en específico, Juan? Porque, Teacher, decís, no sé si le sirva Juan, pero a mí en el las 5 me daba error y es por el apóstrofe. No Inclusive yo copiaba apóstrofe de, de las mismas conversaciones que está ahí, pero no es ese el que usan. Entonces, ahí está entonces en el chat, se los acabo de enviar, por si ese es el que tiene malo. Ok, teacher, gracias. Ok, any other exercise? Ok, entonces si hay algo otro ejercicio mañana igual podemos revisar y de igual manera si tienen algún tema que quisieran que volvamos a repasar o hagamos más ejercicio, me lo pueden hacer saber para que hagamos un repaso porque prácticamente ya son como dos paginitas del libro faltan o una creo después de la clase de hoy, entonces nos queda tiempo para un repaso final. Pero sí me gustaría que digan ustedes qué tema quieren repasar. A mí me gustaría el de Willy, el, el presente continuo, teacher. Ah, excelente. Ok. Ahora tenemos eh, algo de eso. Y no, pero podemos, teacher. Los gerunds. Ok. Ok. So, ahorita tenemos nada más futuro con Will, cómo usar Will. Decíamos que para predicciones para cuando es algo que creemos que va a pasar y que no tenemos mucha evidencia al respecto, eh, para decisiones que hacemos en el momento que estamos hablando, eh, para hacer una promesa o ofrecer ayuda a alguien. Entonces, recordar que Will es un auxiliar que no necesita otro auxiliar para hacer pregunta o negativa, So, si es pregunta, pues no necesitamos do ni agregar nada más. Él mismo es el que funciona eh, como en pregunta. Él es su propio auxiliar, no necesita nada más. Si es negativa, es will not. Contractado won't, como ya lo habíamos puesto por ahí. Y el verbo siempre va a ir en infinitivo. No se va a agregar nada al verbo. Entonces vamos a hacer ejercicio. Y le voy a dar un par de minutitos para que lo eh, completen en su cuaderno.
Okay, so we have uh, here someone sent the answers. Okay, very good. Good job, Judy. Those are correct. Anybody else have the answer for number two? I'm sure. No, I mean. I'm sure you will have a good time at the training. That is correct. Thank you so much, Noemi. Number three. Carmen, thank you. The training needs analysis will be a success. Okay, excellent. Will be. Thank you so much, Carmen Rene. Let's see number four, volunteer. Belen, thank you. I promise I will do my best to get to get a good score in the evaluation. Excellent. Thank you so much. Number five, volunteer. Judy, thank you. Uh, number five. Yes, please. She won't be late to the meeting. Excellent. Thank you so much, Judy. And number six, volunteer. Andrea, thank you. The manager will work hard to help us improve. Excellent. Thank you so much. All your answers are correct. So let's continue and see what we have here. Okay, here we have a conversation in which we uh, are using the present continuous and also will to express future. Let's see, it's Felix and Julia and said, I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but you can, but I can take it from home. Cool, I will ask for e-learning options next time. Yeah, look, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. Okay, that's pretty uh, simple. Do you have any question about vocabulary or pronunciation? I know you are doing a training. Okay, so let's practice this conversation in groups. I'm going to create the breakout rooms so that you can practice with your classmates.
assist the teacher. Do we have volunteers to role play the conversation? You can raise your hand. Belen, thank you. And Imelda. You can start, Imelda. Sorry. You can start first. Okay. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. You will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah. Look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much for your participation. You did it perfect. Uh, let's see, we have Juan Ricardo and Maricela. Inicio, Juan Ricardo. Oh. <laughs> Vaya. I am having a training next week. Books, hybrid, or tunnel, and other systems. Sound like you will be busy. I'm taking an earning training of kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can't take for home. Cool. I will have more lining option next time. Yeah, look at time. I meet some friends, friends and conference tonight. See you later. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's see, I had Anna and uh, volunteer to practice with her. Rafael, okay. Rafael and Mercedes, thank you. Starting first, Mercedes. Eh, comience, si gusta. Okay. okay. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sorry, teacher. Some like you will be busy. I am taking a and learning training or teaching safety procedure this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning options next time. Yeah, look at time. I'm meeting some friends I conference tonight. See you later. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for your participation. You did it good, really good. So uh, as you can see, while well, we have another exercise here to complete by looking at the conversation. So it says, I, I'll eat a training next week. So what, what do we have here? What do we need to have here according to the conversation to complete the number one? I'm having, I'm having, I'm having excellent, uh -huh. I'm having a training next week. So let's complete the rest of them by looking at the conversation.
Okay, so uh, what is the number two? Yo. Noemi? Okay. I, uh, I uh, having. Eh, Noemi tenía la manita levantada. Vamos a escuchar a Noemi. I am taking an e-learning training on kitchen safe procedures. Okay, excellent. That's the answer. Number three. Andrea, thank you. I will ask for e-learning options next time. Very nice. Number four. Helen, thank you. I needed some friends I conference tonight. Very good, thank you so much. As you can see in this case, uh, in the previous exercise, we were using just the auxiliary wheel um, for um, future. In this conversation, we are using both. We are using the wheel and we are using present continuous. Estamos usando los dos en esta conversación presente continuo y wheel para expresar futuro. Uh, do you remember what is the difference when we use present continuous and will? Will que no está planeado, teacher. Uh -huh. el, el presente continuo que tengo eh, un futuro cercano. Uh -huh. And the other difference is about this, how you write the sentences, the verb, and when, you, when we use will, it's in, is using in present, and the continuous is uh, plus ing, without the, the will. Excellent. That is uh, an excellent point that, yes, it, we need uh, the, the structure changes, right? In the present continuous, we need the verb be, um, is, are, plus the main verb with ing, and also a time expression, right? También se necesita una expresión de tiempo. And yes, it has to be for um, a, a, a near future, para un futuro cercano, right? Y son acciones planeadas que ya están agendadas, de algún modo ya están en, en un plan. So, yes, that can be another difference. Anything else that you would like to add? Algo más que les gustaría agregar? Or that's it. 
Okay, so let's continue with the next slide. So uh, we have some uh, vocabulary exercise here. What we need to do is to um, match the training solutions to the description. We have three training solutions. Well, there are four. Yes, four. That's vocabulary, we just need to place uh, what is the training solution according to the description that we have there. Number one, off the shelf training courses. Number two, in house training. Number three, shadowing. And four, mentoring. I'll give you some time for you to complete that exercise. Finished? Finished. A volunteer for the first definition? Noemi, thank you. The, the first is number three. It involves one employee's in following another employee like a shadow to learn all the aspects of a job. This is especially suitable for new employees as a part of their induction. Is the number three shadowing. Excellent, that's correct, Naomi. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next.
Volunteer for the next. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. And house training is the last one. It allows people to learn on their own place and to apply new knowledge immediately. The training must be technically able to do the test and have the patient to reach or coach. Mm -hmm. Correct. Thank you so much. The last one is number two, uh, Rafael. Uh, super generic course. The staff will join employees from other business or on the course. Some of these courses are designed to achieve or comes towards towards a particular recognized qualification. As number one of the self training course. Uh-huh, excellent. And we are just one volunteer. Well, I hear a lot of people and they are trying to comply. Ese ya, ya nos lo dio Belén, gracias. Bye, okay. Solo nos falta la tercera. ¿Cuál es esa? ¿La tiene, Juan? Yes. Mm -hmm. Per Henry Coles. What is that? Uh, why is that young and project for anonymous business? A course or song of this course are the same. A child account tower, a particular record gallery quality. Okay, so the number, the third one, it will be mentoring. It involves the informant transmission of knowledge and social capital over a period of time with some face-to-face -face meetings, use of email and telephone communication. It is essential to have a mentor. So that will be mentoring. Let's continue here. Well, here we have a brief review about when do we use will um, versus the present progressive. Remember that will is used to talk about future intentions that are decided at the time of speaking, spontaneous decisions, offers, promises, and decisions. I will help with the document. For example, they will ask about e-learning options. We will be on time, that's a prediction. And the present progressive, it's used when plans and arrangements have been made. The manager is flying to Los Angeles for the conference. That is a plan. There's not um, something that they are deciding at the moment. <coughs> the servers are having a training this weekend. This is a scheduled event. So they are using present continuous. And he is meeting uh, the boss at the airport tomorrow at 6 p.m. Most of the time when you're using the present progressive to express new future, you have to include a time expression in most of the cases. Any question here? Okay, now based on what we already discussed here in the previous slide, let's complete these statements or questions. And some of them are questions or just the first one. Would you question. like to question. drink something? Yes, please. Question. I will have an orange juice. Siempre se va a utilizar wheel. En este, lo que acabamos de ver es cuando se usa will y cuando present progressive. En este van a utilizar uh -huh. uno o el otro. Ustedes decidirán a leer acá cuál es el más indicado. Ya. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, volunteer for the number two. What do you have there? Belen, thank you so much. Okay, for me, it's I can come with you on Sunday. I'm having a training at the restaurant. Excellent, that is correct. I'm having a training at the restaurant. Okay, uh, let's listen now, Amy. You got the number three. Yes, you look tired. I will help you finish the document. Excellent, that's correct. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see, number four, a volunteer. 
Maria Angelica, and five, Moises, and six, Rafael. Okay, the kitchen manager is flying to Italy on Friday. Here are the, the tickets. Thank you so much, Maria. That's correct. Moises? The number five is the owner. Okay, number five is the owner. Goro, come to talk mm. to us about signing solution. Um, that would be with Will or? Ah, okay. Oh, Ajá, teníamos okay. que hacerla con no. will o present continuous. ¿Cuál sería el más apropiado ahí, según el caso? Ah, pues no, me equivoqué, teacher. Ah, no worries. Rafael, do you have that one? Number five. Ajá. The, the owner will come to talk to use about training solution. Mm, the owner will come. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That can be a prediction. Puede ser una predicción o tal vez si ya era un plan o algo que habían decidido, también podría ser present continuous. Dependería del contexto. Thank you Pero so much. Es porque como no está agendado, digamos. Ajá, es como una predicción, ¿verdad? Entonces Ajá. sí, will quizás sería el más apropiado, pero si alguien puso present continuous podría ser una opción dependiente, pero will es lo más correcto acá. Excellent, thank you so much. And finally, number six. Number six. Hey, will. Next week. Yes. Maybe is um we not work next work week next week. He won't. He won't work. Ah, it's we will. Oh, it dependería porque si es de repente, imagínense que la persona se enfermó de repente o o en el momento decidió que no va a trabajar, sería que alguien dice, he won't work next week. Pero si es porque está en vacaciones, ¿ok? Como no nos das mucho contexto ahí, podría ser también present continue. Si fuera continuo, ¿cómo nos quedaría? He doesn't work in next time. Mm, 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 mm. He isn't working. Ajá, he isn't working next week. Next week. Uh -huh. He isn't working next week. Is he fuera in con Will? Will, will not. He will, will not. not work. Will, will not, not work. work. Uh -huh. Or work. work. Will not work next or work. Week. Next week. Next week. Okay. So, um, to continue practicing this topic, we have what do you like to do on vacation? Um, this is just for vocabulary. Let's watch the activities. Could be uh, take a fun trip, discover something new, stay at home, enjoy nature. To take a fun trip, that could be traveling my country or visit a foreign country. Discover something new, could be visit museums or go to a music festival. Stay at home, can be hang out with friends or watch movies. Enjoy nature by going fishing or relaxing at the beach. So what do you like to do on your vacation? Go fish. Mm -hmm. Go fish. 
Rafael. I I will like uh, relax at the beach. Okay. So you like to spend your vacations at the beach. Okay, good. Anybody else? Yes, teacher. Um, two of one. Go to a music festival and watch movies. All right. Very good. Anybody else? Travel in my country. Travel in your country? Okay. Anybody else with a different idea? For me, teacher, stay home. Watch a movie. Stay home watching movies, all right. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Um, relax on the beach, teacher. Okay, sounds good. Hang out with friends, teacher. Ah, uh, yes, fantastic. And I with friends. Any other ideas? Anybody else? I have oh. a question, teacher. Uh huh. When you say hang out, it's kind of. Uh, <laughs> iba a decir algo tonto, pero es como, o sea, salir. Mm, yes, it can include that or not necessary to go out. Uh, hang out, it's like a general, in general, to spend time. Spend time. Ah, okay. It, mm -hmm. it could be in a, in a, out or inside. It's, it's, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Siempre se va a pronunciar what do you like to in vacation para contestarlo de abajo. ¿eh? Mm, la pregunta, what do you like to do on vacation? Esa es la pregunta. La pueden contestar de acuerdo pues sí. a los gustos de cada quien. Ok, ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay, so we can continue. Uh, so we have a conversation here. As you see, uh, they are also talking about future plans and they are using will and going to. So let's listen. The no, letter, teacher. no, ya lo voy a hacer. One second. Unit 5. Going Places. Page 30, Exercise 2, Conversation. What are you going to do? Part A. Listen and Practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? 
Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. All right, now that you listen to the conversation, is there any question about vocabulary or pronunciation for you? Yes, teacher. What is the meaning of the more the merrier? Okay, that's a very good question. Thank you so much, Naomi. The more and merrier means uh, that you will feel better or it will be uh, funnier if there is more people. Es como decir, entre más mejor. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Any other question? Algo otra pregunta? Just an observation, teacher Nancy has a good idea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Any other question? Imelda, thank you. Um, en la parte que dice sounds like fun, eh, eso es como, como un idiom, o sea, es como, no es como una traducción literal, o sea, no es como que se diga, suena como divertido, sino que es, suena divertido, nada más sería la traducción. Exacto, uh -huh. suena divertido. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. Any other question? What it is uh, that I I bring my surfboard, teacher? Llevaré, um, llevaré mi tabla de surfear. I'll bring okay. my surfboard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Teacher, Thanks. I was here huge. Maybe. Eh, no, no le comprendí la pregunta, Juan. I you you se dice o you just stay you stay home eso se dice que está en el de Nancy you de Nancy you. en el segundo de parte de Nancy ajá en el segundo en el segundo de, de Nancy pero en la primera sí. interacción I'm sí. not sure I'll just I'll just stay home mm -hmm. I'll just stay home I have a question mm -hmm. about the, the meaning of um, um, I just me it me it's a war. Esta expresión, war, esta expresión war. que dice, do you mean it? Do you mean it? Es como decir de verdad, algo así. Ajá. Do you mean it? ¿Estás hablando en serio? Ok, ok. Thank Ajá. You. I thought, teacher, that it was the meaning and for, ¿no te importaría o no te molestaría? Mm -hmm. uh, do you mean it? Um... As, yes, uh, but in, in este caso es, uh, say, what do you come to, do you mean it? Es como, um, yeah, es, es en serio, estás hablando en serio. Igual si usted dice, estoy hablando en serio, I mean it. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y también es como en ese sentido. Mm -hmm. No te importaría. Mm -hmm. O no te molestaría. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Question. Mm -hmm. Sure war. Sure war. Eh, Nancy, don't you mean I download, I bring my sure war? ¿Qué quiere decir sure war? Um, ¿Qué les dije que era surfboard? Surfboard. Surf. La tabla de surf. Uh -huh. Ajá, ah, pues sí. Es que 
Y en otra le viste en otra pronunciación. No uh -huh. saw. Vamos a escuchar la pronunciación y les voy a ir pausando para darles chance de que repitan después que escuchen. Lo pueden hacer con el micrófono en silencio. Ok. Unit 5. Going places. Page 30, exercise 2, conversation. What are you going to do? Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. Unit 5. Going Places. Page 30, Exercise 2, Conversation. What are you going to do? Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to create the breakout room so that you can practice this conversation. I don't to Let's recreate. Okay, there we go.
Ah, aquí está. Bueno, también está Mercedes, ¿verdad? Pero está de oyente, no, quizás no va a poder hablar, no va a poder practicar. Casi siempre practica, aunque esté de oyente. Hola Mercedes, ¿puede hablar? Ok, entonces no empezamos nosotros. No. Bueno, entonces Judy, Judy, si usted inicia con José Arnoldo. Ok, empieza José, te vamos a dar el gusto. <laughs> I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to, to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I hang out with my friends and match some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We are going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish. So maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. Que me toca a mí, ¿verdad? Just one. Sí. Con ustedes, Judy. Ah, ok, entonces empiezo para... Ok. Continúo. Sí. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll... I stay home. Home. May, maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at a at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish. So maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sound like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? You, you? Do you mean it? I love to. I bring my software. Okay, That's very right. good. They're more. The merrier. Mm -hmm. Only one thing is just uh, come with us. Come with us. Come with us. Uh huh. Come, come with, with us. us. Mm -hmm. And okay. continue okay. practicing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bueno, ahora me con José Arnoldo, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, si, si gusta, inicio ahora yo, José Arnoldo. Va, está bien, está bien. I'm, I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish. So maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surf surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. Okay, so just in this one, let's see. Um, sounds, and then sentence is sounds. I guess oh, 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 sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. Sounds, sounds like fun. Excellent. Sounds like fun. Okay, continue practicing. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Judy. Entonces, ¿quién es Julia? ¿O quién empieza, perdón? Judy con José Arnoldo. ¿Ve? Porque Mercedes creo que todavía no puede. Bueno, usted ya dijo los dos, Judy. 
Creo que sí. Ah, ya. pues sí, ya eso. ¿Empiezo? Ah, está bien. Okay. Oh, no, empieza usted, empieza usted. Bye, bye. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I hang out with my friends and mad and watch some some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We are going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish. So maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why you don't why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? Do you mean it? I love to. I'll bring my software. That's great. The more the merrier. Bueno, ahora me toca a mí. Con Judy, ¿verdad? Ok. Usted empieza ahora. <clears throat> ok. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and Matt and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish. So maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? Do you mean it? I love to. I'll bring my software. That's great. The more the merrier. Okay, you stay con. Oh, José. Continuemos con José Arnoldo. <laughs> Inicio yo si gusta José Arnoldo. Está bien. Okay. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish. So maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. Bueno, ahora José Arnoldo con, con Judy. <laughs> Okay, I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? I'll hang out with my friends. Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The, the more the merrier. Judy, la teacher dijo que aquí era come with us. Come with us. Okay. Uh -huh. Come with us. Uh -huh. Bueno, seguimos entonces. Ok. Judy, si gusta ahora, este, como usted inició, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, pues yo, si gusta, eh, yo voy a iniciar y usted sigue. No, Nancy. Okay. I'm so excited. We have to wake up. What are you going to do? 
I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay at home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish. So maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more, the merrier. Bueno, José Arnoldo de nuevo. <ríe> Ahora que empiece José Arnoldo. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. Wait. Yeah, but you have one minute. Todavía tienen un minuto. No, es que lo estaba escuchando, me tapó. Okay. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? Judy. Okay. I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll come out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We are going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish. So maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why you don't why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I love to. I'll bring my supper. Okay, uh, before we continue, I'm going to check attendance and then we're going to role play a couple of times. Let's see. Andrea Laurena. Present teacher. Thanks, Andrea. Belen Batres. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Mario Avedaño. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Carmen René. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Delmi Guadalupe. Delmi Guadalupe. Francisco Nehemías. Present teacher. Thank you. Helen Dionelli. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Iris Joana. Iris Joana. Jose Arnoldo Correa. Present. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Bueno, parece que no se pudo conectar. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenia. Marisela del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Marisela. Moises Alberto. I'm yeah, here, teacher. Thank you, Moises. Sí. Noemi Albertina. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you, Rafael. Reina Margarita. Reina Margarita. Rubén de Jesús. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie. Judy Araceli. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Judy. José Rudy. 
José Rudy. Ana Mercedes. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. María Angélica. Present. Thank you. Imelda Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. And Susana. Hoy tendría 101 María Mer Ana Mercedes, perdón. Ana Mercedes si sí puede quedarse, ¿verdad? Si sí, no, no se preocupe. Ok. Uh, let's see. Let me share the screen again. Okay. Okay, let me make it bigger. This is okay. Uh, do we have volunteers to role play this conversation? Let's raise your hands. Belen and Imelda. You okay. can start, Imelda. Okay. I'm so excited. We have to week off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day and my cousin likes to fish. So maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I love to, I'll bring my surfer. That's right, the more the merrier. Excellent, excellent job. Thank you so much for participating. And then I have Maricela del Carmen and Andrea. Okay, I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. That are you going to do? I'm not sure. I was, I just stay home. Maybe I had all with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousins like to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. So like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean, do you mean, I love to, I bring my subword. That's great. The more the merrier. Okay, very good job. Thank you so much for participating. I have Juan Ricardo and only Juan Ricardo. Any volunteer to practice with Juan Ricardo? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. I'm so excited. We had to wait off. What are you going to? I know sure. I wish here home stay home. Maybe I run with my friend and watch some movies. What about you and you playing? Dad, I going to relax on the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surf every day and my cousin likes to fish so maybe we'll go fishing one day thank you life fun say what don't you come with you don't you me hit hit a love toe i need to bring my software that great the more the merit my rear Okay, and uh, remember it is um, come with us. Come with us. Come, come with, with us. Come with come us. Uh-huh, uh porque si decimos use es como jugo. So it's come, uh, come with us. Uh-huh. Come, come, okay. come along. Come along. Okay, yes. thank you. You're welcome. And let's see. 
Okay, as you can see, these are the other two structures. This is um, will y también going to. If you can notice here, it says, I guess I'll just stay home. It's not like sure. No está seguro. So it says, creo que solo estar en casa. Probablemente, maybe I'll, that is, I will. So, para hacer como una, un guess, una predicción, algo no planeado, eh, es will. Eh, y luego tenemos, eh, le preguntan, any plans? Is I'm going to relax. Okay, so el going to se puede utilizar, dijimos, eh, para actividades planeadas, a predicciones cuando hay alguna evidencia. Y la estructura, pues, es el verbo to be, la expresión going to, y el verbo va en forma simple. I'm going to, y ven ahí dice relax, ¿ok? Y esto puede ser para planes eh, no necesariamente en un futuro cercano, ¿verdad? That is, eh, es otra diferencia que tiene en cuanto al futuro con present continuous. Ok, esta era la idea. Y tenemos un listening part ahí. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are they going to stay? How will they get there? Tenemos que escuchar y obtener esa información. Así que vamos a afinar un poquito el oído con esta práctica de listening. So let's see. Remember, this is the information that we need to get from the conversation. Where are they going to stay and how will they get there? Let's listen. Yes, let me check. I'm sharing sound. Okay, aquí está. ¿Por qué había dejado de compartir sonido? Qué raro. Okay, there we go. Page 30, exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are they going to stay? How will they get there? By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Page 30, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are they going to stay? How will they get there? By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Did you get the answers? No teacher, repeat please. No teacher, no yet. Okay, no worries. Pero si se escucha, es que había dejado de compartir por alguna razón, se desconfiguró, pero si se escucha. Sí, si se escucha. Ah, okay, perfect. Uh, let's listen again. Page 30, exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are they going to stay? How will they get there? By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Page 30, Exercise 2, 
Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are they going to stay? How will they get there? By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Did you get the answers? I think so. Okay, so where are they going to stay? The aunt and uncle beach house. Yes, they are going to stay at Julia's aunt and uncle's beach house. And ahí estaba la otra respuesta. In case that you have it like that, they are going to get there by bus. Okay. So that will complete this exercise. And I think um, just a reminder, ya vamos a dejar hasta acá porque pues ya se nos acabó el tiempo prácticamente. Solo un recordatorio para los que no estuvieron al principio del meeting, es solo nos queda la clase de mañana y la de pasado mañana. El día miércoles se va a llenar una encuesta. Eh, según decía, muy comentado el compañero Juan, que son dos encuestas. La del día miércoles es, eh, es, es, tienen que, va a estar a una hora específica y va a haber un gestor de inglés corporativo ayudándonos. Esa es sumamente importante, solo se puede llenar una vez. Una vez la hayan completado, tienen que mandar un screenshot donde dice que su respuesta ha sido sometida o algo así. Tienen que mandar esa captura de pantalla al WhatsApp y se va a ir llenando todos al mismo tiempo. No nos podemos adelantar porque solo hay un chance una vez de hacerla y es como parte de sus requisitos para que ustedes puedan seguir con, con su beca de Insafor. So es, es importante, traten de conectarse por favor para que puedan realizar la encuesta de manera correcta. Eso sería todo. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta antes de dejarla, miren. No, teacher. Thank you. No questions. Okay. And remember to complete the platform. Okay. So thank you for joining and see you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Hola, teacher. Hi. ¿Cómo Me ha estado? Disculpo, teacher. No, no, bien, bien, gracias a Dios. ¿Y usted qué tal? Bien, gracias a Dios. Bye, qué bueno. ¿Y qué tal? Cuénteme, ¿cómo se ha sentido? Ya casi terminando el módulo. Ay, pues ahí vamos. Mire que este, este módulo sí que ha sido más difícil. Eh, Por inconvenientes. Ah, ok. ¿Y Ajá, con los temas o ejercicios? Es todo bien. Todo Inconvenientes bien. más que todo del trabajo. O sea, el trabajo, salud. No es, o sea, no tanto de la clase. Ah, ok. Ajá. Sí, me recuerdo que a veces se ha reportado que va a estar nada más como oyente y también uh -huh. con, con los problemitas de salud, ¿verdad? Pero eh, esperemos que el próximo módulo sea mejor. Eh, me imagino que va a continuar, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Primero Dios que sí, el otro sí nos nivelemos, <ríe> como sí. en los anteriores. Pero el horario sí le conviene, está bien el horario y, y en general lo demás del curso. Sí, fíjese que sí, solo que como ahorita estamos en cierre de mes, sí tengo una programación que sí se me ha hecho bien difícil terminarla y prácticamente, bueno, hasta hoy y mañana tengo para poderlo entregar. 
Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Bueno, y con los contenidos, ¿cómo se siente? ¿Hay algo que quisiera que repasemos? No, más que todo la confusión era con el Will y en lo que todavía me confunde un poco es con el Present Progressive. Ah, ok. Ese es el que todavía me confunde un poco. O sea, ya a la hora de estarlo haciendo como que me confundo. Y le confunde como al momento de decidir si es Will o Present Progressive o Ajá, le confunde exacto. la estructura en sí. No, la estructura en sí es la que me confunde. Ah, esto, bueno, me imagino que, bueno, igual vamos a preparar un repaso porque a varias les está costando a algunos el decidir cuándo, cuándo es, es, y es, es, bueno, es parte del material, pero es normal, eh, mucha gente le cuesta al momento de eh, combinar diferentes estructuras, sino no estar concentrado en una sola, como que ahorita vamos a ver presente simple y nada más. Ahora vamos a ver pasado y nada más. Entonces, al momento de combinar varias estructuras, sí, es como un poquito difícil, pero pues le voy a dar más tiempo a esto mañana y voy a incluir ambas cosas. Voy a escribir ejercicios donde vaya la estructura y también donde tengan que decidir, ¿verdad? Y esto recordémonos que no es como, como hay, hay respuestas que se puede ser flexible, pueden ser más de una opción, ¿verdad? No, no solo es cerrado que en una nada más will en, o en algún caso que solo va a ser going to o en otro caso solo present progressive. Uh -huh. Hay algunas que son, que, que hay cierta flexibilidad. En cuanto a la respuesta, puede haber más de una opción, pero hay otras que no. Mañana también vamos a hacer eso. Creo que ya tal vez ya no vamos a hacer tanto diálogo, más bien vamos a practicar ejercicios de completar escritura y estructura para a ver si eso les ayuda. Sí, sí creería yo que sí. Ese es el único tema que ahorita tiene como un poco de dificultad. Sí, la estructura y más que todo a veces definirla, si será con el will, ajá, sí, o con el going to. El going to es para el progreso. ¿no? Ah, ok, sí. Sí, el ajá. going to es, eh, no, el going to es, es una expresión de futuro y en el going to el verbo va sin ing. En su forma base. En su forma base. Uh -huh. Entonces siempre vamos a agregar am, um, is, are. Luego la expresión going to y luego de eso el, for, el verbo en su forma base. Uh -huh. okay. Siento que no es tan complicado, sino que... No, es creo como que a la hora nos confundimos. El, el, el estar mezclando, yo creo uh -huh. que es lo difícil, estarlos mezclando. Pero vamos a seguir practicando. Mañana tenemos eh, otra clase que la podemos dedicar. Como le digo, el material prácticamente ya lo terminamos. Solo como dos paginitas quedan ya. Y pues tendremos chance para repasar. Si hay algo otro tema que quisiera que repasemos, lo puedo tomar en cuenta para el miércoles. Ok. No, ahorita prácticamente solo eso. Ok. ¿Y ¿Algo más que quisiera agregar o no? Sería todo. No, solamente, Ticha. Muchas okay. gracias por su amabilidad. A usted también por su tiempo, por quedarse un ratito más. Así es que pues <risa> ya no la desvelo, le agradezco y espero verla mañana y que, que sea un Dios. mejor día. Sí, primero Dios. Gracias. <risa> ok. Feliz Good night. Bendiciones. Bye.